Hello everyone. Hi. We had a little bit of um, technical difficulties in the beginning. I um, got these Bluetooth mics and I watched the video after we were done. We're recording now. Shh. She Go was lay down. quiet until you. She was quiet until I started talking and then she started playing with her toys it was loud. Um, and like eight seconds into the video, the mics went out and I think it's because I had the, the Bluetooth adapter plugged into the phone but then it like unplugged a little bit and so it wasn't connected anymore and so i got an extender to be able to fit through it because of the the claw that holds it and um it's it doesn't it doesn't read with this so i had to bring out my other phone holder to hold it is the light still on on yours yes you should check on your phone to see if um yeah, I, you can hear the audio oh I, okay yeah yeah just to check it on because Otherwise, I would just turn them off. Luckily, I have my phone on me. All right. Yeah, yeah, just to check it. I want because otherwise, I would just turn them off. <laughs> oh, there's a delay. Yeah. Is there always a delay? I think so. All right. Let's see if the microphone is still working. All right, let's see. Okay. Just, just a second. Tilted. Oops. No. Did you hear it? Is my light on? I don't know, babe. Yeah, it's on. That's so weird. That's so weird. Okay. Um, I'm. I hope the microphones are working. I can't tell from looking at the phone. Anyway, uh, uh, tonight we have um, some vodkas to try out, uh, made by Ciroc. I've never had Ciroc before. Yes. Have you? Yes. Oh. Many of times. Oh, she has. So we've got um, a coconut, pineapple, summer watermelon, red berry. And then we have this extra little thing to the side that we'll try later. It's smear it off flavor. Would you want to try it first? Get out of the way. Oh, I don't care. Okay, well, let's... You can pick this time. I always pick the order. Well, let's... Try, let, we'll do this one first, since I don't know. <laughs> okay. This is Smirnoff Spicy Tamarind. Ooh, that's what it looks like. Oh, you probably want to get the spiciness out of the let's way. Let's get the spicy out of the way, and then I can follow it with some... It's some probably not that spicy. Good ones. No? I don't know. I guess that's what we're here to find out. That's what we're here to find out. Okay. All right, spicy tamarind, smear it off. Let's see what it smells like. It smells good. Oh, I'm smelling you. That's good. You put on deodorant. I okay. did put on deodorant because I stink. No. I was working in the garage today, um, putting together my um, my liquor dispensers, which I should bring in. Okay. Hold on a second. I'll wait here. Interior, garage. I thought door. you had one in here. I guess not. I thought there was one in here. There's like Interior, five. Interior, garage, door. I'm back. Okay. This is my liquor dispenser. So you can screw a bottle into the top of it, and then you turn the handle to open and close it. So it sits on your bar or your countertop, and then it fills, fills your glasses. Um, I made four of them before, and I sold out. So... I made another four, and now it's just in time for Christmas. Uh, they make great Christmas gifts. I'll post the link when I'm done. I have to um, put a clear coat sealant on them still and upload pictures. I changed the design from my last one. You saying I smell good or I smell bad? Oh, no, you smell like deodorant. I smell like deodorant. Good. Okay, good. I smell like deodorant. Um, yeah, I didn't have work today because it rained yesterday. Um, also, I don't have work Monday, so... Cause it's raining all day tomorrow. It'll be muddy. Ready? Sure. Oh. It has like a sweetness to it, but a little bit of. That's interesting. Spicy. I guess I could finish it. If not, I mean that's that's interesting. I'm not a fan of spicy things. 
I know you're not. That's why I was surprised. It has a little bit of a start. little bit of a burn. A little bit, but that's like it reminds me of something. I don't know what. That's kind of nice. It's very different. It, it has a little sweet to it too, <clears throat> a little bit. It's like sweet at first, and then that spicy hits at the end. Yeah. Okay, I'll finish it. If not, I'll finish it. <laughs> That's good. That's different. Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm not really, I'm not a spicy guy at all. Hello, Alicia. Veronica. Elizabeth. Or Liz. <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty good. It has a little bit of a kick to it at the end, but then again, I put wasabi on my sushi, so... Ooh, sushi, that sounds good. All right, so um, would you recommend a large bottle of that? Mm. I mean, I'm just trying to think of what you would mix it with if you were going to put it in anything or if you would just drink it straight. Because that I could just have straight. But I don't know, like, would I go out and buy it? I mean, yeah. I mean, and it's Smirnoff. It's not like it's expensive. Yeah, they're cheap. I just thought it was interesting because it's got like a skull. It's got a little skull on the bottle. I will um, <clears throat> put a picture of these in the comments after so that you guys could all see. I would drink it again. They are. It's different. Gotta clear it all out for the next one. What do you want to just go in order? Um, or which one do you want to do last? Let's go in this order. Like this? Yeah. All right, here we go. Ciroc. Even my first though I time. said that you could pick the owner. <laughs> so, for, so my first time trying Ciroc, which is a vodka. Um, this is coconut. Um, it's an expensive, it's not really expensive, but it's expensive enough for that. When I was at BevMo, they had it locked in the glass cabinet because people would steal them. And the minis would be locked in there too. I think recently they stopped locking them in there. But we used to put them in a little row on the shelf. It probably also depends on where you go. Yeah. And there was a limited edition black, it was a black raspberry, I think. And the bottle was black. And we sold oh, out because yeah. it was on like the Oprah Winfrey show or something. And then everybody came into the store and bought it. I remember that. We never tried it. Oh, these can show up in the video. I'll just go like this. Yeah. There you go. All right, here we go. Coconut. Are you okay there? Yeah, I'm slipping forward. <laughs> Already. These these are still... Well, my table that's here is just kind of like things stacked with this on top of it. <laughs> I don't want to hit it. it. Smells like coconut. I like that. That's really good coconut. I'm not always the biggest coconut fan, so... Would, would, would you choose this over the toasted coconut from Kula oh, from Hawaii? Oh, that's hard. No. I would, <clears> well, that I is... Had my choice, I like the toasted coconut better. And it is a rum. Well, yeah, so it's vodka. different. No, this is good, though. It's just, I'm not always, like, big coconut. <laughs> it won't cast to your TV? Oh, sorry. I, was ahead of you. I, um, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to fish either. <laughs> this is pretty good. I'd say we should get a bottle, but we don't have room. <clears throat> I have so many bottles that mm -hmm. they're stacked on the bar mats and there's like this much space to make a mixed drink. I don't know if this is something I would crave, but you're more of a coconut fan than I am. Yeah, I do like coconut. I was the only one that got a coconut one in Hawaii. And I watched the guy hack it. I had some of that. That's a little bit different. Put a straw in. You I tried it, but I, I, I'm the only one that got one. I just don't crave coconut. No. And then I got a bag of, of dried coconut to bring home. What did we do with that? I ate it all. Oh. Okay. Yeah, while well, I was on my computer. Oh, okay. Uh, no, it's not time to cut me off. I only had one and a half shots. One and a half? Do you have... Yeah, because they were big. Oh. Or one. Then why are you doing so many? No, just because I said so. Oh my goodness. Alright, so this one. Oh, I should. I'm close. This is pineapple. 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 Pineapple.
pineapple Ciroc. Oh, and this time the video is flipped the right way. Oh, good job. Yeah. I really hope the, the audio comes out good on this with these microphones. <clears throat> Otherwise, we'll have to figure something else out. Okay, pineapple. Another thing I really like. Because I always get a Dole Whip at Disneyland. Well, that's a must. That's a must. What else do we have to get? Churro. Yeah, but did we get one last, this last trip? No, we tried finding it. No, we wanted a pretzel. No, we were trying to find... Yeah, so we never... We didn't get a We didn't churro. get a churro last time. And it used to be a mint and julep, but we stopped we doing didn't, that. Well, we didn't go. They changed the recipe <laughs> and everything. That's right. And I'm just not as thrilled with the new one, but the line was really long when we were over by it, so I didn't want to go back. Yeah, and it was really hot, so that Dole Whip was... Good. I'm glad we sound loud and clear. Oh, good. Good, good. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say Indy, because we were just talking about Adventureland. Indy? You know, you when you say, good, good, Indy. Uh, never mind, I don't say it like you, I'm just going to stop. I haven't had enough to drink yet. What? <laughs> like Sala? Never mind. Indy! There you go. Okay. Yeah, because we were talking about John Rice Davies. Okay, never mind. He was in Indiana Jones. And he was Gimli in Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. And, if you haven't seen the trailer for Indiana Jones 5, he's in the new one as well. And I was excited to see that. I like that. <clears throat> it's not super pineapple-y. Mm -mm. I like it's not overly sweet. Yeah, and this does, neither one of these burn either. What's the proof on these? I don't know. I just checked them out. 70. They're 70 proof, and neither one of them That's burned. Right. Like, there was no burning warmth That's going down saying. the throat. Ciroc's a good one. It's one of those shocking haven't one. had it. Yeah. But then again, like, this is what I had when I had roommates. Or yes. A roommate. A roommate. I, um, I became a fan of John Rice Davies um, on the series Sliders from the 90s with Jerry O'Connell. I have no idea what you're talking about. He and, he, uh, Jerry O'Connell was in, in this college class, and he invented this. It was basically a remote control, and it could slide to alternate dimensions, alternate realities. Um which would be like, diff it, it's like Earth, but then like if something mm -hmm. different had happened, like um, if California had fallen into the ocean or uh, red means go at a uh, traffic signal. Oh, okay. That was one of the first episodes. <laughs> or the, the first episode. That's but funny. he was a, the professor in that. Anyway, so for, it, it ran for like four or five seasons. Hmm. Do you like this one? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good? Maybe I need to get more comfortable stools. Actually, didn't these come from my apartment? I don't know. I think these came from my apartment. I think I brought these with me. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <You> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't think we bought these together. I think I had these at the apartment. Yes, it was pineapple, Nancy. Right? Yeah, that means I sat on them the night I met you. Aww. Aww. Eating spaghetti that she made. You're welcome. Yeah, June 24th. June 24th, 2014. Wow. You remember the date? I remember right? dates. This um, one, what? Oh, it's and I'm still cooking for you. Still. Well, you started. Yes. Yes. Well, I did the majority of the cooking of the dinners. For a while, Until yeah. I went to the refinery. And then we started getting Hello Fresh so that she could learn how to get really good at it. And now she's really good at it. She's making up stuff on her own. I'll do what I can. Because some of you who may not know, I went to culinary school for a year, so I learned how to cook. I didn't complete the program, so I'm not an actual chef or anything, but I know how to cook. And I'm my way around the kitchen, and I can follow recipes and stuff. Which is helpful. Yeah, and she's getting really good at it now. And she enjoys it. No, I thanks. was I did. I lost my interest in it. It was a problem. No, I like it. <clears throat> All right, here we have summer watermelon. Which hopefully is artificial. <laughs> it says six times distilled. Five times distilled. I thought it was a, a I thought it was a S-I-X. It's a 5X. Uh -huh. Five times distilled. Okay. Oh, because it says that on these too, but it's easier to see on yeah. these. Yeah, I'll models. just give you a little bit. I'm sure it's fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm feeling it. If it's real crazy. watermelon, she'll die. I will not die. 
She's allergic to watermelon. But not to the point where I can't like touch it or have a little bit. I just can't have a lot. And cantaloupe and honeydew. I'm sure the processing of it all, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. It's not like it's Midori or anything. Those Japanese Oh, wow. <clears throat> it smells like super watermelon. I miss watermelon. Ooh. It tastes like summer. Oh, that's good. Like a picnic and you're eating watermelon. Almost. I used to cut a watermelon in half <laughs> and then sit on my sofa and eat half of it with a spoon watching a movie. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I'm I'm picturing it in my head right now, just like you eating out of a what was it? A that how big is that? That like quart, three quart, how many? That thing of ice cream? When you first moved out? Oh yeah, the um it was ice cream. It was um sor the um the, the sorbet? Yeah, it was, it was the sherbet. sherbet. It was sherbet. It was the three colored sherbet. Yeah, so but how like, big was the container? Because I'm picturing that. It was the that. one gallon. It was the one gallon. Okay. The little bucket had the handle. Okay, because I'm picturing that and now I'm picturing you sitting there with a half a watermelon. I put a towel down. Well, that's smart. And then I would use a spoon and then make little cones with it. Oh, wow. Kind of like you would use a melon baller. Also called the Parisian scoop. I'm not that fancy. We have one of those in the drawer in the kitchen. Do we really? Yeah. Where? In the drawer with all the fancy tools like the the uh, strawberry destemmer and... That I never use. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm not that sophisticated apparently. That's really good. I like that. We should get a bottle of that. I don't know where it would fit though. I mean, I'm not itchy yet, so we're good. That's good. Your throat's fine. Like I said, it's probably not very natural or just a little bit. Oh, are you like, cause we've already, we're already. Oh no, I can wait. In, I just figured we could stop you yeah. just a little well, bit. Well, while you taste it, um, we, we added a, um, a donate button to our, um, uh, our tastings and on my tastings page on my website so people could uh, back the Schaefer Tiki Bar tastings and then recommend something you want us to try. And then one of her friends. Yes, Miss Denise. She donated and she wants us to try some Chardonnay. So we will be going to the store this weekend. But she also asked for vodkas as well. So this is also a tribute to Denise. Because yes. She said vodka. she's not much of a whiskey drinker and so... We decided yes, we're going to do vodkas because we already had some, but we are planning on going to pick out some Chardonnays coming up for her as well. Yes, we will do that and we'll we'll try uh, Chardonnays. Yes. But that means we have to drink a lot because those are whole bottles. Yeah, but you put them in the fridge and you can drink them. Yeah, you don't put it in the fridge, you finish the bottle, right? Finish not the bottle. One night. We're not going through th three or four bottles of Chardonnay in a night. Why not? Unless we have people over. It's just grape juice. We can have any wine drinker friends. We'll have to have plan that out because I'm not drinking that much wine. Yeah, maybe we'll have to have a, an extra person come over to taste those. Yeah. So we have three. We'll have to get like chairs. We'll have to change my table setup. Anyway, we'll figure it um, out. I also um, made a sticker for Schaefer Tiki Bar, and then what we'll, what it is is I'll send it to somebody who um, who backs us, so you will get a sticker for supporting our uh, tastings. Good girl. She just came over and laid down. Don't look at her. She'll stand up. She only does that with you. Oh. Oh, I also put the link in this video to go to my website that has um, all of our other videos. There's still some that I have to up upload um, that we've done before because... Um, to see I, how it all started. Yeah, because I, I ripped them all from Facebook and then I have to upload them individually to YouTube and then I can link them over to my website. So that's how they all get there, but they're all organized by year on there and um i'm going to attach a a document that says the things that we tasted and when so that you can just look through that and you're like oh i want to see the whiskeys or the vodkas or rums or whatever oh that's cool uh this last one is called red berry red berry red berry i think we saved the best for last yes i'll wait till summer to get a bottle Whenever I drink, I have to have something behind me, very slippy. Something behind you. Like a wall? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, you know how you almost lift up the chair? Hey, Mark. 
Are you even in America right now? What? I see that you left on vacation. Oh. Yeah. Because I'm not working with you anymore. I'm on a different cruise now. Mm -hmm. Well, and now too. Yeah, well, I went, year. I went away to the ranch for two weeks. Oh, I came yeah. back and it was a week of rain. So nobody worked. And then I started going to just random other job sites. Hopping around for a little bit. Oh, Columbia. Oh, Columbia. Mark gave us a couple of the bottles of the, the rums that we tried. That's right. We still have some left. And one of them one of them ended up being our favorite. We tried, what, six rums that night? Four. No, I six, think it was like six. I don't Five or six. Know. Anyway, the video is on my website if you want to watch it. But um, one of the ones he gave us to try was like our number one. So. It was very cool. good. We'll have fun in Colombia over the winter. Well, is it winter there? Well, it's winter here. You go closer to the equator and it's warmer. I don't know. I'm just asking. That's a question. It's winter. Yeah. Okay. Because of how far the earth is away from the sun. Oh, yeah. Because it's right. Okay. It's just the, the levels of winter depend on how close to the equator you are. Remember we discussed in the other video that the equator around the yes. middle of the earth is 26 miles further around than it is north to south. 90 degrees all year. Wow. Jeez, yeah, it's very close to the equator. And there they have the 12 hours of, of day and 12 hours of night. The closer to the equator you are, you're exactly in the middle and you get 12 hours day, 12 hours night, not like up here where our days are shortened and then lengthened in the in the summertime or even in like Alaska where the sun like dips down to touch the horizon to go away but then comes back up and they don't even have a full night time for I like a month. I don't even know what that would do to me. I'd have so many. It would cause insomnia. They should make a movie about I would, that. Yeah, but that would not be good for my mental health. I would be a mess. Starring Al Pacino and Robin Williams. I'm not. I'm good. I couldn't. I don't think I could do it. No, I couldn't either. Well, I just, that would affect me. Black, in the movie he had blackout curtains, so. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, not having, like, enough light. Because I feel like it's different. Like, I need a little bit of sunshine to, like, you know? Yeah. Otherwise, it's just, like, depressing and... Okay, well, I know you're happy all the time, so this is not anything you can relate to. I take sunshine with me everywhere. Oh, my God. Yes, you do. <laughs> For the rest of us who aren't always happy. Oh, she pulled a meat earlier. Tell them what happened. What are you talking about? When you pulled a meat. When I pulled the U? At the restaurant. Oh, and I forgot somebody's name that I used to work with? Yeah. Okay, so she went with one of her friends uh, uh, to lunch today, and she ran into a server who she trained as a server at her restaurant that she used to work at. It's so bad. And she forgot her name. And that's my job to forget people's names that I meet. I remember your name if you were like a I'm Disney animator. I remember. But... Like, I... I hope she, I always ask her, I'm like, what was that person's name again? I totally blank. I'm horrible with new, meeting new people and remembering their names. Even at work, I have a notebook and I write down the names of the operators that I meet at the different job sites until I remember their name. Yeah, that was weird. All right, last one, Redberry. Hmm. <clears throat> That's pretty good. I think I like the watermelon better. It is good though. I might like the watermelon a little better too. Yeah. But it's good though. It, this one, so I don't know. You remember you were talking about that burning? Like I this one a burns a little bit. This one's just a little bit though. But it's got a good, again, I like that they're not like super sweet. Yeah. And like they're, you they're, get the fruit taste, but it's not like in your face fruit. Yeah. And they're not super burny either. Mm -mm. I saw, there's no weird aftertaste, which also sometimes can be a thing. Like, you get that weird aftertaste, and like a, it's like artificially and gross. Yeah. So I don't get that from this, which is nice. That's good. No, Ciroc's good, and it's a good vodka brand, I find. I also really like, um, what is it? Stoli? Yes. I like Stoli. Oh, I forgot that that was there. Um, there's another one I like too. I'm trying to remember what it is. I'm Ocean. problems remembering all of a sudden. Ocean. We did, I'm just saying that because we went to the Ocean was very good. Yeah. 
Hmm. Almost. <laughs> what? The it's one the time? The last little bit. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, because I, it's just like with food. Sometimes yeah. I like to savor it rather than just like gulp it down and be like, okay, cool, I'm done. I like to, you know, like savor and enjoy the flavors of my food. Yes. Um... Speaking of food, do you remember I showed you guys last week uh, my left? I used my leftover liquid from my cranberry sauce to make uh, Jello shots. Well, I decided to take my leftover cranberry sauce because the leftover was just the liquid I pulled off the top. My the leftover cranberry sauce. What I did was I re simmered it on the stove to melt it all down, so it wasn't thickened anymore. I don't know if you know, but cranberries have. Um, don't tell me. They have pectin. Good job. Thank you. They have pectin <laughs> in it, which is a natural coagulant <laughs> stabilizer. Kind of what Jello does. Mm -hmm. You know how it gets firm. Well, that it has that in it, so yes. that's why Jello is uh, or uh, cranberry sauce is thick. Of course, if it's in a can, then yeah, they add gelatin to it to make it fit the can, but. I make mine from scratch. So, um, well, I took my leftover, I simmered it so it became liquid again, and then I mixed in a bowl um, a packet of Knox gelatin with, um, uh, what did I use, vodka. Um, I did a splash of um, a little bit of hot dam and uh, triple sec because um, cranberry sauce has cinnamon and orange in it. Mine does. I use um, orange zest and then I squeeze some of the orange juice in it just to add a little bit of flavor to it. So I added that to it and then I mixed it all together and then put it back in the Tupperware in the fridge. And so now I have jello shots of cranberry sauce. And they tasted really good. I had some last night. So Yeah. Yeah. And anyway. then you made more jello shots. Well, yeah, because I have a movie night tomorrow. So I made blue jello shots for tomorrow because of Avatar night. Because we're watching Avatar, so. Yeah. Do you have anything to add? Mm, no. We still have like 32, three bottles, 33 bottles over there waiting for us to try. I think the next one we're going to do I'm is going to be, Johnny. we're going to do the seasonal, the seasonal drinks. So it'll be like the, oh. the peppermints and the gingerbreads and the other, the other ones that are sitting over there. Oh yeah, I forgot we had, there's a lot. Oh, there. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, you know what we could have put in here and I didn't think about? What? But then oh. again. Oh, we have to put it in our order. Oh, well, that too. But I was also, um, well, we've already had enough. Um, the peppermint. Vodka? I forgot because we just got, but we, did we try that already? This one? We did, didn't we? Yeah, because... I was thinking because you said holiday and I thought peppermint. Well, it's like half gone because I've had it, but the bottle of Smirnoff peppermint, it's scratch and sniff. Candy cane. It's candy cane. Your favorite. My favorite. I'm going to put these in the order that I like okay. first. Sure. My order. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted to say it. Oh, they can see in the video. Okay, so this one was your favorite, and then that was yeah, your favorite. Yeah, I like the favorite. watermelon, pineapple, red berry, coconut, and then the the one I threw at my dog's <laughs> face. And at me. Spicy tamarind. Okay. I couldn't remember the one order it was. Okay, what's your what's your uh, order? Okay. Um. Oh, this is. These are still. Fail. There's some liquid in there. Three drops. It, uh, well, okay, I was joking, but. Wow. That's my order. So our first one was our favorite. We matched on that. Yeah, no, I like that one. It was a good. It so you like flavor. watermelon, watermelon, red berry, tamarind, pineapple, pineapple coconut. coconut. Yes. I would drink the. Yeah. For, for those of you who just got on now, this is a little bit spicy. It's tamarind. It's like sweet, and then the back yeah, end is like a little spicy. spicy. Not like burnt alcohol y, spicy like. Like spices. Yeah, like, like um, um, oh, jalapeno. Like, like, no, more like a tahin. Tahin. 
If you ever put tahini. It's kind of like when you put tahini on fruit. Yeah, or wasabi on sushi. Mm, yeah, kind of. Mm. Which, now I want sushi, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> I guess I had shrimp for lunch, so that's fine. Close enough. Well, thank you for watching us. Um, everybody enjoy their December. Um, we'll be on, uh, put it with some watermelon. You oh, yeah, you could mix. No, you mix it because people will sprinkle. Don't they sprinkle? You sprinkle tahini, tahini on, on watermelon? watermelon. Yes. I will not be doing that, but you can. A little bit, see what it tastes like. Oh, I've tasted it before. I just can't have a lot. Of tamarind? Of watermelon. Oh, yeah, no, watermelon. Dork. Well, that, we're out of that, so. Both well, no, but like say if you put the tahini on mm -hmm. watermelon. I want to taste this. It's also good on pineapple. That's. A, I want to taste those green ones. Not tonight. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm still a little. Well, they're like 130 proof, so. That's for another night, and then you guys can watch us taste those and see what happens when we try those. Right. I think the exciting video will be the Chardonnay because that's a lot. We'll have full glasses. The We're sample. not going to drink full glasses. No? All right. Well, that was my have you recommendation. Not been, you've been wine tasting. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. Twice. I remember. And you, <laughs> you went twice. Yeah, well, for John's bachelor party. Oh yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Because then you got drunk. I went in Hawaii. You were there. Yeah, I was Do you there. Remember? That one. Yes, because I had yeah, I had more than you. We ordered six bottles. And then we from went. There. And then we went hiking afterward. Yeah, but it was a little bit of time. Like we we spread kind it of, out. But we I had more than you did, and then we went on the long hike, which like oh, we saw the pigs. Yes, exactly. At the end, we thought we were gonna die. Wild pigs ran across <laughs> the trail in Hawaii when it was like the weather is so weird because it's like hot and then you're freaking freezing. And I think at that point, too, like, did I not wear a shirt or something? Like, I only had a sports bra and pants, and I was, like, well, freezing at the end. Yeah, but uh, did I not wear a shirt? Never did. mind. I don't know. Maybe that was another hike. The weather is very unpredictable, and different sides of the island get very different you, temperatures. You hike like this, and then it gets cold and rainy, and then you come back down, and then you're sweating. <sighs> and I don't like the rain. I'm very much like our dog in that aspect, where I'm not a... I don't yeah. like being soggy. But I still want to go back to Hawaii. Yes, another Some another other time. Day. Some other time. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, thank you for watching. Um, check in next week. I'm, I'm pretty sure Friday Wait, we'll do another sorry, one. Sorry, I'm trying to read the comments. Put me in bed. Not a hike. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a... Uh, I just want to get drunk. No, it was a... Uh, it was really good wine tasting there. We, ta we got six bottles and they shipped them to us. Yes. Because uh, they didn't want to have to... Uh, you know, put them on my luggage. Mungle them in our suitcases. Yeah. We probably could have, though. I couldn't have fit in mine. Mine was full. Oh. Well, you did buy a lot of stuff. It wasn't I even... probably could have, like, yeah, it was stuff for this thing behind me. pants or something and, like, put them in my suitcase. Well, it's not hiding them. It's to keep them from breaking. No, I know. I would have rolled them up in my clothes or something. I bet it was, like, what, an extra $20 for shipping? They just it shipped them to deal. us. Yeah. But then I found out they shipped to us from American Canyon, which I was current. <laughs> I was currently working in American Canyon. Then I'm like, I could just stop by. Part. I could just stop by and pick them up. Anyway, I'm trying to read the comments again. Come to our house. Yes, uh, different island. We'll have to go to a different island next time we oh, go yeah. back. We do want to experience different islands. Yeah, because we went to Maui last time, and that was a very touristy island. Yeah, but it was. I I liked it. Do you have miniature golf on your island? Because we Jeez. like to... <laughs> it rained one day. We were going to go scoop, uh, snorkeling. And we're like, oh no, it's like raining and windy. And oh. then we went golfing instead. Oh, well, that was also when I was having the hearing problem. And I didn't want to be submerged. Because I couldn't hear out of my right one ear. One ear, yeah. Yeah, but that issue is resolved. It is. So, thank goodness. Because I didn't have enough issues as it is with the stuff. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait. Well, there's more stuff. Oh, 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 more. Volcano is erupting now much better than miniature oh, golf. Oh, that's right. Oh, wow. That's right. You've seen the Volcanoes videos. in Hawaii? What? Well, you've seen those videos right now? Yeah. I've seen some of the videos and the pictures of the um, the volcano erupting and all the mm -hmm. lava spilling out. It's crazy. Well, I saw um, 
videos of the the lava just like oh i'm gonna go across this road yeah and then like melt through a car and then cyclone fences and then go out to the ocean and people no, like crazy now i have to drive two hours around the other way around the island to get home even though it's like right there i can't get to it yeah it is awesome i like watching it's like mother nature oh what? i did watch i watched a video guys made pizza on a volcano what? On the lava. They made it on the lava. Really? Yeah, they put pizzas on this cookie sheet, and then they put it out on the lava, and the lava cooked. That is totally something you would do, too. I would totally do that. Because remember the pizza oven you made? I did invent a pizza oven for our, our campfire and camping, and it worked out great. The pizzas turned out good. They weren't even burnt on I the bottom. I could totally see you doing that on a, like, over a volcano. Yeah. Oh, my God. You would be that one doing that, and I'd be... Down there watching you. You'd be watching. I don't want to step in the lava. <laughs> I'm like, you know, it's solid rock. You're not going to splash into it, right? It'll just melt what's touching it. Because it's lava's the, dense. You're the crazy one. Lava's dense. Like how. Uh, 2000 uh, degrees. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, it's very hot. You have fun with that. Like Smeagol in Lord of the Rings, how he like fell into the lava like it was liquid and drowned. Like, no. You would bounce on top of it and be like sitting on top of a hot cast iron skillet. You burn on the outside. You don't, it's not liquid. It's liquid, but it's a solid liquid. You can't, it's dense. You can't sink into it. Hmm. Like you could slowly push it out of the way, but like you can't, you're not going to sink in. Yeah. Like when you hit it, it's like hitting rock. Yeah. Because it is. Anyway, that's it. That's enough uh, science for tonight. <laughs> we'll save some for next time. Yes. Hey, everybody have a great uh, night and week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.